from Fabulous Paper Emporium. I have a folio today for you and I'm going to make it a graduation, a four page wonder grad folio. So <laughs> the one that I have done uh, right now is uh, a little bit backwards because I made a bit of a mistake in terms of where this flap goes. But I mean, obviously it can work either way. So it's a folio that I've recently, at least I believe it's a recent uh, video from May May. And so uh, I thought it was a perfect application for a graduation folio. And that way you can keep, um, you know, the ceremony, uh, I want to say pamphlet, but I know there's a better word for it. Um, it's just it's completely, completely escaped me right now. Ceremony. Oh, wow. Anyways, I'm sure there's a bunch of people that are screaming at the at their phones or tablets <laughs> with the name. Anyhow, there is a lot of space in here with pockets. I've not decorated this one yet, but there's two pages that are identical. So there's a pocket here. So a pocket here, a pocket on this side. There's a full page, full page, full page. So you could obviously on these pages, if you felt like pockets were more necessary, then you could absolutely add your own. And then when you fold out the next page, we have pocket here, pocket here, and then full page, full page, and then obviously full page. So, and then we've got this, this, which is the front and this, which is the back. So, uh, amazing. It goes perfectly well with this grad day paper pack that we now have in the store. And the grad day paper pack is a mini paper pack. So, um, there are six 12 by 12 sheets and then there's a bonus pattern, which is on the back side of the... I guess title page is what I would call that. So there's some beautiful patterns, a lot of secondary patterns that are absolutely beautiful as well. And so, um, like I said, I haven't quite um, done designing uh, the rest of the book, but today we're just going to put together the base and then I will come back and we will go through the decorating portion. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's two pages of these cut aparts, which either will make super fun cards if you wanted to give away some cards, they would make some fun additions to the folio itself. Okay. So I've got to find some place to put those. <laughs> so we're going to get to making the base. And like I said, there are only four pages that you need to put this together. Of course, if you wanted to add more, you could absolutely do so. But for 12 by 12 sheets, I'm going to stick with the black for right now because <laughs> it seems like it's going to really make those pages or the designer paper pop. So the there you're going to start with four pages of 12 by 12. So for two of the pages that are 12 by 12, we're going to leave them at 12 by 12. And so for two of the sheets, we are going to score this at three and three quarters at nine and three quarters and at 10 and one quarter. So we're going to do three and three quarters, nine and three quarters, 10 and one quarter. And then we're going to spin that around and we're going to score at eight. Okay. So we've got three and three quarters, nine and three quarters, one, a 10 and three, a 10 and one quarter. And then we have turned it and scored it at eight. So you're going to do that with two of your 12 by 12s. For the other two 12 by 12s, you're going to cut it down to 12 by eight. So I have here two sheets that are 12 by eight. You're going to stick them in your score pal or whatever device you have for scoring. And we're going to score these at half at six. So now I have two sheets that are 12 by eight scored at six. And I've got my other two sheets that are the 12 by 12. Okay. 
just going to bring in my score mat for the moment. So for the, for the two 12 by 12 sheets. So on the, my right hand side, I've got my two score marks that are at nine and three quarters and 10 and one quarter. We're going to cut out the bottom piece. So we're cutting out the, um, the rectangle as well as the score mark that is all the way to the right. And we're cutting, I'm cutting out this second score mark. So the one that's nine and three quarters at the bottom, I'm just simply cutting out this rectangle because the bottom part, what we're left with is actually going to fold up. So there is what I've cut out. So I've cut out the score mark and I've even cut out the score mark on this side. What this is going to create is this is going to fold up and create one of our pockets. So we're going to cut out the score mark on the left hand side as well. And we're going to make sure we're going to start folding in our pages to make sure or sorry, folding our score marks. So I'm just going to fold that in, burnish my, whoops, as <laughs> I kind of whack a bunch of things. So I'm just going to burnish my score marks as I go. I like doing it. I like doing the burnishing after I've cut away. I am going to move that for a second. Do my second score mark on this side. So those two score marks have given us uh, a bit of a gusset or the, the spine, I guess, for lack of a better word. So when you're folding this part in, you definitely want to make sure that it's not impeding the hinges at all or the, the score marks. Oops, I've not done this one yet. So again, just making sure that if you've cut away the score mark and the score mark no longer, there's no signs of the score mark on this sheet, you should be okay. But if you need to trim off a little bit of extra, then by all means, trim off a little bit of extra. And so for these ones, I am totally fine. So you're going to repeat and do the exact same thing with your second piece, which is cutting out the score mark, the nine and three quarters. We're going to cut along the eight inch, cut that off and then repeat basically the same thing on the left hand side. For using only four sheets of 12 by 12, it really is quite amazing what you can accomplish. And then I'm going to go through and score, or sorry, not score, but burnish all those score lines, making sure again that my pocket is not going to impede the movement. And today I'm just using 65 pound paper with all the other layers to be added, um, I feel like it will totally be fine. Okay. So the next part that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adhering two sides. We're going to be applying glue on either the right and the left side of the, the, pocket that we have at the bottom well soon to be pocket so the flap that was going to create our pocket <laughs> that's what we're going to be adding the glue to so we're just going to add a bit of glue whoops i am so bad with my straight lines they are not straight at all but that's okay nobody's going to see it so apply glue to the left and the right we're going to fold that in watch the glue ooze out. <laughs> so if you're wanting to give, and this is something 
that I've seen before. If you want to give a the, your pocket a little bit of a lift, you can push in either side and that way it's not completely flat because of course I think you are going to want to probably put a lot of things in these pockets. So um, that would be my suggestion and that way there's you know things that can that can be inserted without any issues there. So that is one sheet. I don't know why I've got all this modeling on my paper but <clears throat> and then we're going to repeat and do the exact same thing with our second sheet. So our flap has glue on the left and the right. We fold that up, press that down, push it in just a bit, just a bit so that we have a little bit of um, I don't know, it kind of curls up a little bit or domes up a little bit. And that way, again, you can kind of put a bunch of things in there. Okay. So now I'm going to remove this because now we get to the point where we're a little bit larger. Excellent. Okay. So we have two of our pieces that are, you've got your two score marks on the right hand side and this flap on the left hand side. So what we are going to do now is we're going to stick them both together. So we are going to apply our glue to this side and I know it's hard to see because it's black. So I'm going to put glue on the rectangle, not going across that score mark. Okay. So the first, score mark on the right is here. The second score mark is here. So I've not even touched those. I'm going to fold this piece. So the flap is folded and then I'm going to line that up just to the right side of the score mark because we don't want that impeding the movement. And we are going to press down. I'm going to fold that over make sure that we've got that nicely adhered. Okay. So that moves nicely. We have our fold right there and then we are going to create with this flap right here and the flap over here. Here's where we're going to add our two um, pages. So these ones have been scored. This is the 12 by eight. So we're going to score it. We scored that in half at six. I'm just going to fold these and burnish them because I have not done that yet. So fold, burnish, lovely, fold and burnish. So this is going to create our extra pages in the album. Okay, and how we go about inserting these, let me get my original out because I can't remember at all. Okay, now I remember. I'll remember now, I'll remember. Okay, so this is going to fold like this. So this is going to create our pocket, our side pocket instead of the bottom pocket. So what we are going to do is we are going to apply glue and set that off to the side just a bit. So we're going to apply glue to the top, to the side and to the bottom. We're going to leave the left side open. We're going to move in our, one of our pieces like this the eight, or sorry, yeah, the, the 12 by eight. I'm going to move that in right to the score mark or right to the fold. And we are going to push this piece over like so. And so again, if you want to push that in, so that gives you an extra bit of space, then you are good to go. 
Okay, so I'm just going to check and make sure that I don't have any gobs of glue coming out the bottom. So there's your second sheet. So now we've got a lot of extra space and we are going to do the exact same thing to this side. Now you can, let me just see here, bear with me just one second. Just going to see how this folds up. Yeah, so this is just going to be the basically the exact opposite to what I did previous because how I had done it before, I had already started hearing my pages. So this one, the flap is on the left side when it really should be on the right side. So for this flap, we are going to add our glue. So I've got this piece, the 12 by 8 folded. So I'm going to push that right there. We're going to add our glue to three sides, which is the top, the side, and the bottom. I'm going to just kind of get the paper so it's all aligned right up to the fold line. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. My neighbors are being kind of loud. And then fold that over and press down. I'm going to flip that over so that I can see and make sure everything's lined up properly, which it is. And so that is basically it for creating this wonder of a four page wonder grad folio. So the last thing that, and what I did on this, on this other folio is I actually used one of my, my corner punches. So I use, this one has the stub on one end and the scallop on the other. So I'm going to do the exact same thing for this one. Um, if you have a quarter rounder or a half inch rounder, you could certainly use those. And I'm going to go basically all the way around. So I'm going to take that and the only place that I am not going to do it is these corners but I can come in, let me just see here. So with this page, the page that opens up where we've got our solid page, solid page, and then our pockets on the uh, inside, I'm going to actually fold this in half and use my quarter round or my corner punch there as well. Just making sure that it's in there. So you can do that as well. And when you open it, it kind of gives you a really nice detail at the, at the corner. So that's all I'm going to do for now. But that is basically how to create the bottom. Oops, I've got that all kind of folded up. Okay, so that is basically how we put together the four page wonder folio. This one specifically will be turned into a grad folio using the amazing grad day paper from Photoplay. So in part two, I'll go through all the sizes, the measurements and how we go about decorating it. Hopefully you'll join me for that. If you've liked this video, found it useful in any way, shape or form, please give me a thumbs up. That would go a long way to help. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can give me a thumbs down too. If you have any questions or comments, post them below because we absolutely read every single one and we do reply to everybody that comments. If you have not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and then the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful time. I know I had a fabulous time. Hopefully you continue to have a fabulous day today and you stay safe and well. Bye.